Good morning, it's uh, John Thompson. Thanks very much for tuning into this uh, week's Borrow Smart, Repay Smart lesson. This week, we're going to be talking about some kind of interesting, which is going to be kind of where to, uh, where does mortgage pricing come from? What market forces influence that? And uh, what can you do about it? All right, so let me go ahead and get to it here. Get rid of me there and jump into this. All right, so, you know, where do market rates come from? Um, a lot of people believe that, you know, it, lenders just kind of arbitrarily pick interest rates. Um, there's some sort of flexibility for negotiation. Uh, the reality is for the vast majority of lenders and banks and, and other companies that make mortgage loans, rates are determined by daily trading what's called mortgage-backed securities. Um, ultimately, each lender obviously sets their own profit margin and makes the determination from a business purpose, you know, what they have to do to make money. Um, but in reality, once they fix that, you know, it goes up and down depending on the trading and mortgage-backed securities and, and rarely changes from there. Um, pricing to most loan officers is fixed. Um, each company has to set a comp compensation plan with a loan officer that cannot change. And all that is done to prevent um, your price manipulation and so forth. So what is a mortgage-backed security? We're going to touch on in a moment. Um, it's really just a trading in a, a financial instrument. Uh, mortgages are packaged together and then they're sold in, the, in what's called the secondary market and you own them and I own them in our in our uh, retirement accounts and different uh, investments and banks own them and insurance companies own them and 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 so forth. Um, Anti-steering provisions were put in place, you know, uh, about 10 or 12 years ago now, and that provide, prevents price manipulation. That's why loan officers can't change pricing once it's set, it's set. It doesn't matter what the product is, the loan amount is all the same. Um, pricing can vary from lender to lender. Um, and that's because the margin they set, and we'll kind of talk a little bit more about that. So how does it kind of work? So this chart, though, with, uh, with those are all called Japanese candlesticks, these little thingies here, and each one of those little bars represents the day's trading. Um, a green bar would represent that the trading got better during that day. Um, a red bar would represent that the trading got worse that day, so the pricing got a little bit worse. So you'll see here at the peak of the market, so mortgage pricing typically gets better as you go up here, so the green days are good, red days are bad. As, a, as the green days total up and kind of build up this roller coaster here, my mortgage pricing gets slowly better over time. You'll see here that we look over the last six months, this goes back to Oct uh, September, October, um, end of summer here, and you'll see the best day, if you could have picked any day in the last six months to, to pick the best mortgage pricing, would have been here in the early September. Since then, there's been you know, a little bit of a roller coaster ride going up and down. You'll see here since sort of the middle of December, we've sort of been on an upward trajectory here again as mortgage pricing's improved going into the new year. All right. Um, so a lot of people believe the, the Treasury bills uh, control mortgage pricing. They really don't. Uh, the news media consistently gets this uh, incorrect. There is some minor correlation, but not uh, not on a daily basis. You'll see here, for example, on this day's trading, uh, you have uh, the, the Treasury, the mortgage backed securities are down eight basis points and the Treasury notes up three basis points. That's an 11 basis point difference. May not mean anything to you, but it could mean an eighth or a quarter in pricing um, incorrectly stated. Um, so again, the treasury oftentimes does move in the same direction as mortgage-backed securities, but the reality is mortgage pricing is set from mortgage-backed securities. So no, no direct correlation there. <clears throat> so ultimately lenders have a fixed margin um, to, to regardless of the purchase uh, size. So you'll see here in this example, we have a 50% loan to value rate and term refinance. You'll see the lender's compensation in this case is one and a half percent. You'll see on the right-hand side here, this is all the pricing that's available. So the borrower, <clears throat> the consumer can pick any one of these prices. It makes no difference. The lender's comp is fixed. It's not going to change. If the, if the borrower chooses 3.625, they get a credit back of six thousand, almost $7,000. If they choose a 3% rate, they're going to have to pay a fee of about $7,700. And they can choose anything in here. And that's up to the advice of a good loan officer to help them determine what's the best financial outcome. This one here on the right is a 10% down purchase price. You'll see again, the comp is fixed here in this example at one and a half percent of the loan amount. Um, and you'll see here again, these are all the choices they have in terms of interest. They say they could choose anything on this pricing, which is called waterfall pricing. Uh, they could choose three and a half has a cost of $2,300. They could choose 3.75 has a credit back to them of about $2,200. The lender's comp never changes. Um, it cannot change by law. So, but the, you know, lender's pricing does change. And why is that? Because again, of course there is uh, you know, differences in competitive things and overhead and the rest of it. So here's just a very quick snapshot, $1.2 million purchase with 20% down. These are one, two, three, four, there's about eight, 10 different lenders here. You know, Union Bank, Wholesale, CMG, Caliber, GMAC, Plaza, big, big nationwide companies. You'll see the pricing varies at the same 3.75 rate across the board here, but different pricing, some with credits, 
over here and some with expenses over here. Again, your lender, your, your loan may not fit at every lender, it may only fit at Plaza, for example, in that case, that's the price you get. All right, so that's interesting as well. So again, pricing does vary. Um, a loan officer rarely has control of the margin. Uh, typically in the marketplace, a mortgage broker, a mortgage brokerage will match you with the right program at the lowest margin lender that can close on the time terms you want. That's because again, they have access to all the different lenders or the majority of lenders in different pricing and products. Whereas uh, typically, you know, banks and smaller mortgage bankers have access to just their product alone. Um, they may have a breadth of product, and they have some great people there, but at the end of the day, for the widest choices of lenders, mortgage brokers typically have access to the, to the widest choices. Pricing does change throughout the day. It's just like trading stocks. Um, it goes up and down throughout the day. Um, pricing is not typically committed until you're actually in escrow. And of course, the best advice I have to give to you, what do you do about it? Well, at the end of the day, all that is kind of cool and interesting, but you should match with a lender you trust who is committed to educating you what you need to do. They have transparency and pricing orders. They're, they're clear with you about what you know they're earning and how it works and the rest of it, and they're focused on your well-being and, and positive outcome. Thanks very much. Uh, this is, again, John Thompson, and uh, have a great day.